Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Denise Gutierrez. As an English teacher who has had the privilege of teaching at Indian Springs for the last three years, I am honored to be your host for today's graduation and the first mistress of ceremonies in school history. Buenas tardes y bienvenidos, señoras y señores. Mi nombre es Denise Gutierrez. He tenido el privilegio de ser maestra de inglés en Indian Springs durante los últimos tres años. Me siento honrada y muy orgullosa de ser su presentadora para la graduación de hoy y la primera maestra de ceremonias en la historia de la escuela. Let us begin this evening's festivities by welcoming the freshman and sophomore Ivy chain, as well as the junior honor guard. These students have the top 5% GPAs in their classes. They are carrying an Ivy chain. <laughs> which is a long-standing historical tradition at graduation ceremonies across the nation. Our Ivy Chain and Honor Guard have worked very hard to be awarded this honor, led by their advisor, Ms. Roxana Melgar Saucedo. Welcome to the Ivy Chain and Honor Guard. Please welcome our honored guests for this evening's graduation ceremony. We would like to extend a special coyote welcome to our incredible Board of Education President, Dr. Scott Wyatt. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Ricardo Esquivel. <laughs> and Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Marcus Funches. as well as our own principal, Mrs. Kristen Bikendova, and our fabulous certifi certificated and classified staff. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the entrance of your Indian Springs High School graduating class of 2022. Thank you. 
Welcome family, friends, and esteemed guests to the graduation ceremony for the Indian Springs High School Class of 2022. Seniors, today you close one era of your life and embark on the next. It is a day to reflect and rejoice. Soon you will go off to celebrate with family and friends, but now we hope you will enjoy one last time together as members of the class of 2022. Please welcome Ms. Brittany Gonzalez, your senior class president, to lead the Pledge of Allegiance and the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of colors led by the ISHS Color Guard for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem sung by the Indian Springs Choir directed by Mr. James Atkins. Choir students, please join Mr. Atkins now. Cadet Corps, you may begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Stay standing, stay standing, stay standing. Pranked, pranked, all of you. Thank you, Brittany. So please remain standing as the national anthem will now be sung by the Indian Springs Choir. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes Please stay in your position. Next, we have a very special performance by the Indian Springs Choir singing, Let It Be.
much to our choir. Now you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the first person speaking today is a young man who has a GPA of 3.7. His proud parents are Ebony Wooten and Marcus Davis. He has been accepted and has received a scholarship from Whittier College. His major will be business administration. His hobbies include playing football and hanging out with his younger siblings. Ladies and gentlemen, your ASB president, Markel Wooten. Good evening, y'all. Let me say it one more time. Good evening, y'all. I like the energy. I like the energy. I like the energy. Man, you know, we work so hard for this, you know? Freshman year, who wouldn't know us sitting in class like, then we graduated. We're going to do something different. We're going to be better than what we, we wanted to be, you know? So the title of my speech, let me breathe a little bit, calm down. 22nd century greatness. Let me repeat it, one, ooh, repeat it one more time. 22nd century greatness by Markel Wooten. <clears throat> All right. So the seniors that oh, I ain't start yet. <laughs> All right. So the seniors that are about to walk across the stage are the same ones who endured once in a lifetime challenges and obstacles. They have fought and fought every day to get to this moment. The class of 2022 lived through a global pandemic. <laughs> social injustice, civil unrest, new school restrictions, and missing out on their entire junior year. Through all of this, we have developed a grit like no other. Our experiences here have prepared us for whatever path you choose. As Denzel Washington says, goals on a road to achievement cannot be achieved without discipline and consistency. This shows us that the discipline and consistency that we have shown here at Indian Springs has helped us develop a growth mindset now hear me out. Most of y'all remember the, the uh, difference between a growth and fixed mindset due to the most engaging and, we're gonna say fun, ELA lesson of our sophomore year. <laughs> it says, so man, so many valuable lessons are learned here. You know, during our junior year, we developed a lifelong friendship with Google, Meets, and Zoom. Speaking of Google, never pick a design for your senior t-shirt on Google, because everybody would not like you after that. <laughs> This is, uh, who can forget the, uh, the lessons from freshman year? Befriend the right teacher, and senior year will be a breeze. Hey, Miss West, wherever you at. <laughs> yeah, give her some love, all right? Stay disciplined, stay consistent, and the sky's the limit. Be better tomorrow than you are today. Be a lifelong learner, and keep growing and moving forward from past experience. This year, I have my own fair of share obstacles to overcome. Like being on class every day with a signed pass from some teacher who just about done with all my excuses. Again, Miss West, I'm gonna shout you out. <laughs> and so all jokes aside here, the staff at Indian Springs High School maintain a high expectation of me every step of the way. Their expectations have far exceeded my own expectations of myself. They believed in greatness when I couldn't necessarily see it in myself. They pushed me to think beyond my own expectation and set goals for myself in order to achieve greatness they saw in me. <laughs> if I needed advice, whether it be academic or personal, I knew I can come to one of you and receive the best. Mr. Browning, thank you. <laughs> That's it. it says, you knew when I needed an extra dose of positive support. You knew when I needed, uh, when I needed someone there when I couldn't be for myself. The lifelong lessons that I have earned, I learned from all you will stay with me for the years to come. He says, without that support, I would not be here today. Thank you all for your undying support of me. When that support involves some tough love, <laughs> Uh, the crazy thing that uh, you provided for us all is a, on a regular basis is you work so hard to push us across the finish line. You looked at our attendance. I still don't know how I have an 98% attendance. I'm never in class, but we're not going to say that. Our, our grades are ADG compliance, <laughs> uh, some career pathways, progress along the way, sports medicine. Mr. Sun, whenever you are, thank you for uh, letting me be a part of something great. Uh, it says, you saw the greatness in all of us. When only uh, you show us how much truly, uh, truly love and appreciate you is to the rise to the challenges. 
achieve and deliver greatness for the 22nd century. I was supposed to add a joke here, but I don't got no more jokes. <laughs> All right, so the greatest moment in a parent's life is watching their children follow their dreams and fulfill in life. To all our parents and family that have watched us counting the days until this moment came, we love and appreciate you, parents over there. For me, one of my greatest, oh, I'll let you finish clapping. For me, one of my greatest memories this year was seeing my mom rock a t-shirt with a face on it during one of my last football games. Hey, mom, wherever you are, I love you, thank you. <laughs> She walked in the stage with such pride, and I got a little emotional like I am right now. Um, even when I give her a hard time, she still has my back no matter what. Our guardians, whoever they are, moms, dad, aunties, grandpas, grandmas, uncles, stepmoms, stepdads, foster moms, foster dads, whoever you are, please stand up. So I see everybody in the crowd should be standing up right now. And y'all clap for them. They provided for you. They got you this moment. Hey, we love you, we appreciate you, and we thank you for everything you put into us to help us get to this moment in life. We really do. <clears throat> Speaking of family, I would like to take a minute to talk about my school family. Where my boys at? Hey, uh, thank y'all for being with me when I, you know, I couldn't be there. I see you, Byron. No, you're not smiling. As, uh, you have supported me and pushed me on the uh, person I am today. I have built friendships for a long time. Graduates, keep the people that add to your life in a positive way around. Check in on them. Meet up for lunch. Nurture their friendship and allow them to grow as you grow and mature. Seniors, this is our time. Make sure the people you have in your passenger seat support you and help you drive toward your goals. Remember, there's not a lot of room in your car. Pick the passengers carefully. Thank you. Markel Wooten. Thank you, Markel. The following students have worked incredibly hard over the last four years to be at the top of their class. Introducing the first of two co-salutatorians. This young lady is graduating with a GPA of 4.7. Her proud parents are Enriqueta Torres and Carlos Santos. She has been accepted to and will attend University of California, Irvine, where she will be majoring in English. Her hobbies include AVID Club, AP Calculus, and Psychology Club. The title of her speech is I Stand Here Just the Same. Please welcome to the stage, Star Santos, your co-salutatorian. I stand here before you all, our class of 2022, with what feels like a mouthful of cotton. Words cannot even begin to describe the feeling of ending this chapter of my life, our lives together. While I look out at this cloud of high school graduates, I cannot help but feel as though more of you should be standing up here with me. It is because of my peers and friends and even staff on campus that I've made it this far to begin with. So with my heart in my hands, I'd like to thank you all. Whether we have been friends beforehand, are friends now, or have only ever been acquaintances, I want you all to know that you've left an impact on me that has gotten me this far in life. There is no page unturned, no black, bad blood that has soured your name permanently. You have helped me and impacted me so much that I am able to stand here and deliver a speech I could have never dreamed of delivering. For that, I thank you and owe this privilege to you. Family who have supported me, regardless of my major or future prospects in life, deserve their own applause, please.
as well as the adults who stand behind their students today in celebration and pride. <laughs> My mom, wherever she may be in this crowd, especially deserves her own celebration with dealing with my school-related outbursts and calming me down when I desperately needed it the most. With that, I will admit it is to the credit of two very influential women in my life that I owe much of my success to. The first being an avid teacher that goes by the name Miss Sweetnam. She pushed me to become confident in myself and my abilities as a student and even beyond that. Without her, I know that I would not have made it this far into my senior year without quitting. The second is someone many of you may remember, a woman named Miss Singh. I wish I could detail the life this woman breathed into me at the start of my freshman year here at Indian Springs. Without her, I wouldn't know where I would be now. She's been my very own role model for the past four years, inspiring me to become an educator to young minds like we all once were. Without her, I don't think I would be standing up here or even going to my dream school. I want to thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Without either of you, I would have felt so lost and alone this year. With no guidance and no set path in life. To other staff members on campus who helped me, I'd like to thank you as well for being here. To my classmates, please never let anyone tell you that you didn't deserve to be here walking this stage. Never let anyone discredit how far you've made it. You put in the work, no matter how much help you got or how bare minimum people may say you did. You are here, a place where many of the exact same people never got to be. This graduating class has endured the unthinkable and we've each challenged it with resilience. So every single one of us deserves to celebrate today. With that, I say congratulations to all of us and hope that every single one of the students of class of 2022 never have to look back in life with regret on how they got here today. Thank you. Thank you, Star. Introducing our second co-salutatorian, who was also graduating with a grade point average of 4.7. His proud parents are Ana and Fernando Cruz. He was accepted. <laughs> he was accepted to and will be attending the University of Redlands, where he will be majoring in criminal justice. His hobbies include Avid Club, Calculus Club, Psychology Club, Best Buddies, Tennis, and Cross Country. The title of his speech is Yo Hago Lo Que Me Da La Gana. Here is Fernando, your co-salutatorian. Damn, guys, we made it. I just want to start off. I know, I'm excited too, guys. I just want to say, I don't, I did not write a speech. You guys want to know why? Because I want this to be from my heart. I want this to come from me, guys. I have a little outline, so bear with me if I mess up or if I say, um, um, I, I won't. I got you guys. I just want to start with a little story. So, my mom, not that long ago, she was in a very depressed, not, I don't want to say depressed, but she was very, very, I guess, sad. Wait, let me take my glasses off for this. Uh, she was in a very, very depressed state, guys. And I was all like, damn, 
why, why, why is she like this? And then I wondered, like, what if my mom, like, I don't know, you never know. You guys never know what happens. And I want to, Ma, donde estas? Rosa! Woo! Let's go, Rosa! Ma, todo esto porque yo estoy aquí. ¿Sabes por qué es? Es por ti, Rosa, esas medallas. Todo esto no fuera por, yo no las quiero, Rosa. Si tú. You guys, when I, I want, like, that ass, I thought my, like, it was, I thought my mom was like, I don't know. She was, I was like, what if my mom, like, does, like, I was like, if she dies, I die. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I won't be here. Like, that ass, I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I won't be here. And Rosa, te quiero, pa, donde esta mi pa, where's my dad at? Woo! Los quiero mucho los dos. Ustedes son mi motivo. Son mi motivo para vivir, Rosa. Son, son mi motivo. Los quiero demasiado. If you don't speak Spanish, I'm sorry. And I just want to say, guys, where's Roxy at? Where's Roxy? Where's my bestie at? Roxy, I did not think you were going to graduate, but you're here. I'm proud of you, Roxy! Let's go, Roxy! I just want you guys to look around. Look around each other. These are your freaking friends, guys. Like, cherish them. Enjoy them, because one day they won't be there. Mental health is essential for everyone out there, guys. We, like, need to focus on that. No, no one cares about our own mental, self, mental health except ourselves. Focus on that, guys. I also would like to, like, acknowledge the Susia group chat. Where they at? Where the Susias at? Where the Susias at? My brother, thank you, Diego, for always being there. Thank you. <laughs> My cousins, mis padrinos, Mr. Ramon, Tony, Eva. Thank you, guys. Now let's get to the speech. My, <laughs> I was just saying thanks. Um, my speech, like Ms. G said right here, we love Ms. G. Ms. G is a great ass te great teacher, great teacher. I meant great teacher. Yo hago lo que me da la gana. Bad, bad Bernie, guys, go listen to his album. His new album. That quote, what that quote means to me, do whatever you want, guys. Achieve your dreams. Don't let anyone stop you. You guys are that. Me at this school, I've had so many problems. You guys don't want to know how many problems I had. There's a whole bunch of people that don't like me here. Like, a whole bunch of people that don't like me. But guess what? Who's up here? Not them! Woo! So, like, do live your lives. If you want to go, if you want to, if you want to travel, go travel. If you want to have a baby, go have a baby. If you want to have a baby with me, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. We finally did it. We made it. We're here. Probably we're all going to cry when we get home. We're never going to see each other again. I miss you guys. I'm going to miss all of you. All of you guys. From the bottom of my heart. I freaking love all of you, all of you guys. I love you all. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you, thank you. Your 2022 valedictorian is a young woman who is graduating with a GPA of 4.9. Yeah. She has been accepted to and will attend the University of California, Riverside. She will be majoring in neuroscience. Her hobbies include playing basketball, 
drawing, listening to music, and calculus club. The title of her speech is Joresh Clendios. Here is Sarai Conde, your valedictorian. Good evening, fellow graduates, friends, family, and faculty members. First off, congratulations to the class of 2022. We are here. We made it through the trials and tribulations we faced. I would like to thank everyone for being here to support us all as we begin a new chapter in our lives. I especially want to thank my grandparents, my pa. Quiero tomar este tiempo para darles las gracias a ustedes por estar ahí cuando más lo necesitaba, por llevarnos a la escuela todos los días, por apoyarnos en todo el camino. Gracias por todo, Josh Clenny. Thank you. Thank you, Mom and Kenneth. Kenneth, part of the Ivy chain, so proud of you. Thank you for always being my support, even when I wasn't the best daughter or sister. I appreciate you guys. Josh Clendios. Now, if I spoke to you before today, I would like you to please stand at this moment. <laughs> Thank you all for supporting me for being there for me and helping me become the person that I am today. Adilene, Jennifer, Patty, thank you for helping me and staying by my side. Without each of you that are standing, the person that I am today would not be here on this stage giving this speech to the class of 2022. You may now be seated. <laughs> Thank you to the teachers and staff and faculty for all you have done and all that you continue to do. Also, special thank you to Coach McLeod. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Cannon. Yeah. Coach Hardeman and Coach Lyons for making me a better athlete and person. Now, many of you may be wondering why I chose George Clendios as my title. And the reason is that I wanted to show how grateful I am for my culture. To me, this phrase not only thanks God, but it also thanks my ancestors. My title is written in the Zapotec language, which is a language that is slowly fading away with the elders of my culture. I only know a few words and phrases in Zapoteco, but I wish to learn more, and I also wish to teach others. So if you don't mind, I would like everyone in the stadium to repeat after me. Waka Guana. This phrase means, yes I can. We have to believe in ourselves no matter what we go through. We have to be grateful for what we came to face, even the bad. We have to choose to learn from our mistakes and experiences. If we choose to dwell on the negative, then we lose out on opportunities that can make us greater. I know it's hard, I speak from experience, but the sooner we begin to perceive things this way, the more likely we'll begin to see the various windows of opportunity. Throughout high school, I was part of an amazing basketball program for which I am grateful for. <laughs> but I did face a few hindrances along the way. I'm gonna be honest, when I began playing basketball my freshman year, I did not feel welcome, nor did I feel a part of the team. Some of my teammates would bring me down when I messed up something, and they would also put others down. I considered quitting a few times, but I realized why should I let anyone stop me from doing something I love? With this, I know it's cliche, but I advise you not to let anyone stop you from doing what you enjoy. Because like I said before, you can miss out on great opportunities just because you don't get along with someone. If I would have quit, I wouldn't have created memorable bonds with my teammates 
nor would I have experienced the journey to second round playoffs, which is first in ISHS girls basketball team history. So to conclude, I would like to wish you all the best in your future endeavors, whatever road you choose to take, I know that it will lead you to your great success because you are a coyote and will continue to be one. I am, we are, ISHS. Thank you, Sarai. We ask that if you were in the choir, please be with Mr. Atkins for the next performance. Give one more round of applause to the valedictorian and salutatorians. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next special performance from the Indian Springs Choir is entitled A Lovely Day.
thank you to our choir for that performance. I would like to now present our principal at Indian Springs High School, Mrs. Kristen Bikendova, with her graduation remarks. That was wonderful. It is a lovely day, very much so. All right. Let's just take this in, class of 2022. We are here to celebrate you and everything that you have accomplished. Just look around you, take it in, and remember this moment. It is my honor to be here as your principal, and I am humbled every day by your greatness and the greatness in front of me. I want to take a couple of seconds to acknowledge and thank some additional people who have been instrumental in this evening and your educational career. Your vice principals, Mr. Salmon, Mr. Rosario, and Ms. Palomino. Ms. Jenna Jinks, who put most of this together. And most importantly, all of your teachers, your counselors, and support staff who have supported you and cheered you on through the last four years. To the parents and family members in the stands, please accept my thanks for entrusting your students to us for endless hours. You have done an amazing job with this class and their futures are bright because of what you have accomplished in raising them. As I was reflecting on this past year and the four years that have made up your high school career, I kept thinking of all the ups, the downs, the twists and turns. I also thought about the celebrations, the changes that were embraced, coming back in person and thriving in whatever this crazy world threw at you. You have been through a lot from finishing your sophomore year at home to completing your entire junior year in virtual learning to returning to in-person learning for your senior year. As you move forward in life and the uncertainty that life can definitely bring, it is always important to know your why and to be grounded in your core values. I can tell you unequivocally that watching all of you achieve this milestone in your life, this is truly one of my whys. Four years ago, you started your high school career. Now you sit before me as adults, ready for that next step in life. As you move forward, I want for you to consider your why. There is an author and speaker by the name of Simon Sinek who has written and spoken about the importance of finding your why. He talks about how most of you know what we do, how even most of us know how we do it. But he asks, do you know why you do what you do? What is your purpose? What do you believe? Really think about the last four years and what lies ahead. Constantly ask yourself why you do what you do. There are 40 of you sitting before me who I believe had a very strong sense of purpose during high school, all of whom earned a full ride to private universities, which totals more than $2.2 million. There are four young men, student athletes, sitting in front of me who share that same sense of purpose, which garnered them full rides to play the sport of their dreams in college. There are two young women who I know know their why and are pursuing their love of music at Alabama State. That's you, I see you. There are over 150 of you sitting in front of me who had a strong focus and sense of why and are wearing sashes and cords representing your excellence over the past four years. Your ASB president and ASB senior class president had a sense of purpose and knew their why, which helped to create a culture of inclusion and celebration, not to mention some great pep rallies. And I saw you the other day with that senior class prank in the S swing and all over campus. I did see that. This collective drive, purpose, and belief also earned over $80,000 in scholarships this year. This list can go on and on, from the 10 of you joining the armed services to serve our country who earned over $300,000 in signing bonuses, to those of you starting a career or going to college. You have come a long way during these last four years. You are no longer that awkward freshman trying to find your place. You are an adult moving forward in the world and charting your own path. As you consider your purpose, your beliefs, your why, I want you to remember that high school is just one moment in time a moment that each of you will remember differently. Use this moment to drive your passion, to push you further than you thought possible. Use this moment to help you through challenges and obstacles that you will encounter in life. Use this moment, this determination, to discover who you are and how much you deserve the very, very best. We can all agree that a huge part of our accomplishments come from skill and knowledge and training, which are very important for success. However, they mean nothing unless you have heart, that you have passion and you have courage to act on your why, to pursue your passions and stand up for your beliefs. 
Barack Obama once said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Those are powerful words. Do not wait for someone else to define you or change you or determine your why. Take control of your own lives. Embrace your why, your beliefs, and do something with it. Your minds and your actions are more influential than you know. Stand up for what you believe, what you know to be right. Do not go through life being a passive participant. Your voice is one of the most powerful things you have. Use it to make your stamp in the world. Use your voice to share your why, to share your purpose. Use your voice to inspire, to create, and to thrive. 33 years ago, I graduated from San Bernardino City Unified, and almost every day since, I've had the pleasure of serving the students in our community. It is one of my greatest pleasures in life, and I am thankful that I get to be a part of your life for this small moment in time. It is very easy to forget our why and to focus on the many distractions around us. When life becomes a little overwhelming, it is important to take a step back and remember your why, your beliefs, your passion. Watching you cheer on one another as you received awards and celebrated one another's accomplishments, that is my why. The senior pep rally when you all walked on the gym floor to celebrate four years, that is my why. Seeing your joy when you get accepted to the college of your dreams or are offered a scholarship or get that job you've always wanted, that is my why. Watching you thank your teachers for all they have done for you, that is my why. Being able to shake each and everyone's hand as you walk across the stage, that is my why. Oh, look at him getting teary. Class of 2022, as you walk across the stage as a high school student graduate and take your first step into adulthood, consider your why, your passion, your beliefs, your core values. Your why makes up who you are. Use this to be the very best version of yourself. I love you, class of 2022, and embrace this moment. Celebrate you. Yay, class of 22. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of our assistant superintendents, Dr. Marcus Funches, with some words for the class of 2022. Yeah. Thank you. Good evening. I was just thinking when I was sitting there, I'm glad I didn't have to follow Fernando. <laughs> but I did have, I wanted to share something with you all briefly, some things that I've learned over the years. And it boils down to two important words, just two important words. And I think as a society, sometimes we've forgotten these words or even how to use them in a sentence. And so I wanted to bring your attention to two words that have literally caused doors to be opened for many of us. Literally caused doors to be opened for many of us. They have made people donate hundreds of thousands of dollars to great causes. These two words have helped millions of people improve their health and even deal with adversity and mental health. Two words, just two small words. When they are heard, there's an automatic response that builds mutual respect between two people. And when spoken to us individually, they cause us to feel good about ourselves and our actions. These, small two, wor these two small words are like a fountain of youth. What might these two words be? Wait for it. Thank you. Two small words, thank you. And I wanted to take a second to thank Ms. Bikendova and the Indian Springs administrators, educators, staff for job well done this year. Thank you. I wanted to thank all of our families who are here in the stands tonight and maybe those who could not be here for persevering with your children and with their other family members so that these scholars can be here tonight. Thank you. And then finally, I want to thank every single one of these scholars that we see in front of us. You have persevered. You have shown tenacity. And you've done a good job. And you're here tonight on graduation day. Thank you. Two words, thank you. Thank you very much. I would now like to invite Mrs. Bikendova to present the class of 2022 to our dignitaries. Dr. Wyatt, 
Dr. Esquivel, Dr. Funches, the class of 2022 have met all of the academic requirements in order to be awarded their high school diploma. Will you please recognize this achievement and they are, as they will be handing their diplomas? Say by, by us. By the power vested in me by the San Bernardino City Unified School District and State Board of Education, I accept these students as the graduating class of 2022. The faculty members who have earned the prestigious opportunity to read the senior names are teachers Mr. Matthew Amori, Mr. Albert Diaz, and Mr. Eduardo Valencia. Oh Parents and friends, get ready with your phones and cameras. It's time for your students' names to be read as they walk across the stage. That's Mrs. Agosta, Ms. Mrs. Rangel, please bring up the graduates. Indian Springs. Ready to hear some names? Adilene Morales. Tafoya, Jocelyn Guzman, Gabriela Flores, Vanessa Fierros, Jeffrey Pleites. Ashley Lopez Fierros, Cristina Iniguez, Leslie Rodriguez Orozco, Roberto Lopez Piñon. Frankie Colunga Jessica Perez de Leon Patricia Moreno Cortez Markel Wooten Miss Brittany Gonzalez Fernando Cruz Star Santos Sarai Conde Alexia Cortez Jaira de la Rosa Franco. Kimberly Marure.
Juan Carlos Alvarado. Jasmine Elizabeth Macias. Briani Hopkins. Lovely Alvarez Lopez. Crystal Tobert. Baron Low. Mr. Aaron Low. Jessica Yamas. Anaya Evans. Jada Bryant. Tatiana McNeil. Alize Jaius. Adilene Perez. Jennifer Rosales Guerrero. Atsin Neri. Irene Guevara Gaona. Es Baby Sanchez. Cesar Sagún. Mark Ramirez. Noé Paz. Fabian Murguía. Joshua Alfonso. Yair Mayoral Contreras. Pascual Adrián Valadez. Jorge Torres Ruiz. Freddy Espinosa. Moisés Hernández Rangel. Diego Prausto. Gonzalo Macías. Guillermo Macías. Juan Vargas Ramírez. Vince Erros. Jonathan Calixto. Kaden Lamb. Juan Guzmán Refugio. Mr. Adam Jimenez. Samuel Benítez. Fausto Esparza. Miss Alia Chinky Lucas.
Alani Alexander. Jamila Harden. Adrian Henning. Josue Ramirez. Emmanuel Cervantes. Steven González. Ángel Peña Luna. Jeffrey Alexander Harris. Patricia Pardo. Jessica Hernández Carrillo. Destiny Marin Toriana Houston Sabile Hernandez Milo Cook. Isabel Alvarado Jimenez. Nancy Mendoza. Ayari. Aldape Silvia Macias Esther Rodriguez Eduardo Lara Carlos Ayala. Angel Rodriguez. Rafael Navarro. Edgar Chávez. Mr. Ignacio Curiel. Andres Garpias. Fernando Flores. Alejo Arias. Juan Cervantes Leonardo Sanchez Eliseo Mendoza Frausto Johnny Miller Carlos González. Devin James. Christopher McZeal. Abel Barajas Saúl Ortiz Delgadillo Michael 
Loredo. Amy Barrios. Christopher Sagun. Francisco Salas. Steve Ayala. Juan Alonso. Michelle Ramos. Manuel Moreno. Joshua Alcaraz. Andy Acosta. Robert Anderson. Ángel Baena Gómez. Emily Silva. Alexis Avila. Alina Sairi. Esbedi Reyes. Dylan Villavicencio. Kevin Montoya Ortiz. Alexis Montiel Bryan. Fidel Aldana. Oscar Medel. Brian Alexander Vargas Anguiano. Aaron Alejandro Flores. Jesús Chuyito Alcala. Jocelyn Vargas Olivares. Brian Baeza Zambrano. Román Salgado Ramírez. Martin Rivera. Jonathan Arcos Amaro. Eduardo Varela. Julie Chipres. Sofía Salazar. Cristian Ávila. Kimberly Loera Ramírez. Kevin Huerta Contreras. Ricardo Muñoz.
Kate Guerrero. Alexis Villalobos. Melvin Gutierrez. Antonio Torres. Miguel Valentón. Yader Eduardo Rodriguez. Emily Ann Contreras. Iván Ibarra. Antonio Osuna. Joe Sevilla. Juan Gómez. Gilbert Rice. Ramiro Godina. Christian Manuelos. Ivan Salazar. Ian Benjamin. Presenting Mr. Christian Kennedy. Mr. Jude Jones. Brian Guzman. Demarie Dijor Hinton. Isaiah Bates. Mr. Byron Jones. Iman Gaines. Miss Serenity Nash. Miss Kanea Lambie. Presenting Miss Shanice Barnett. Eric J. Moses, the third. Marquis Betton. Angela Barreda. Juliet Fernandez. Jacqueline Morone. Lauren Elaine Hogg. Jason Mendia. Caesar Ruelas. Jesus Rivera. Kaisen No. James Rivera. Ashley Duarte.
Mayra Aileen Ramírez. Christian Hernandez Salazar. Brian Ramirez. Sergio Rodriguez. Yesenia Nevarez. Stephanie Cobos. Melanie Rodriguez. Emiliano Silva. Yamilet Arriaga. Yairi Hilario. Libertad Pérez Romero. Miss Jasmine Reyes. Roxy Tran. Arisa Rico. Daniel Nieto Solorzano. Virginia Perez. Joel Ortiz. Everybody's bestie, Natalie Elizarez. Jennifer Barragan. Brianna White. Carla Quinones. Noemi Medina. Rosalinda Morales Armenta. Stephanie Trout. Lidia Serrano. Denilson Monroy. Kimberly Martinez Sosa. Kevin Trujillo. Stephanie Cordero Paz. Nathan Figueroa. Dang Win. Win We. Eduardo Alonso Porras. Miguel Angel Roman. Carlos López Conan. George McBell. Diego Jaramillo. Andrew Rangel. Victor Camacho Moreno.
David Isidro Mejia. Eduardo Fierros. Melissa Cayo. David Wynn. Andrea Garcia. Deja Rocha. Mariana Martinez Orozco. Leslie Lucero. Marisol Villalobos Rodriguez. Natalie Morales. Edgar Apolonio. Eric Rodriguez Flores. Jose Ayala Martinez. Fernando Sanchez. Anthony Monreal. Damián López. Alan Vences. Denise Dinoco. Rachel Hernández. Giovanni Orozco. Athena Tang. Sarai Reyes. Alisa. Sarai Lopez Paris. Daniela Corominal Arts. Giselle Orante. Verónica Morales. Gustavo Cedillo, Leonardo González, Rayshon Williams, Steven Alabazares. Jesse Savala.
Julio Vargas. José Ortiz. The Sean Mason. Antonio Bucio. Juan Ortiz. Victoria Powers. Moses Maldonado. Brisa Guadarrama. Elena Ballín. Gerardo Ruiz. Lisbeth Ayala. Carolina Perez. Josué Méndez. Linda Burgos. Adriana Magaña Contreras. Lorenzo González. Alba Carcamo Recinos. Evelyn Ramírez Romero. Melanie Arrieta. Diana Mendía. Melody Morales. Joseph Cuba. Alexia Bucio. Jordan Chavarria. Yvette Solosano. Ashley Martinez. Genesis Ugarte. Adrián. Alexa Medina. Grecia Mendoza Talingo. Joe Gómez. Luis Raúl Perez Salinas. Osvaldo López. Dylan Ugalde. Ashley Hernández. Ángel Sánchez. Rafael Pedro Chávez. Nicolás Anderson. Jai Boykins. 
Joseph Ramirez. Adrian Del Real. Gustavo Romero. Joshua Alonso. Ivan Nunez. Adrian Wittron. Frankie Ibarra. Jordi Jimenez. Shauna Joyner. Giselle Sanchez. Julio Garcia Amezcua. Cruz Jimenez. Bianca Aviles. Yaritzi Patino. Roberto Hernández Ávila. Maciel Becerra Valentón. Ivet de Alba. Ariana González. Aarón Magaña. Emanuela Bell. Semaya White. KYJ King. Marcela Calderón González. Roslyn Hipólito. Jacqueline Alban. Ashley Rodriguez. Ariel Chavez Pope. Alex Reyes. Raymond Baeza. Carlos Soria. Alan Yair Ramirez. Dante Jones. Erwin Torres. Mary Beth Eder. Miss Jordan Nelson. Salvador Vasquez. And last but not least, 
Liliana Flores. Before I bring up our incredible senior class president and before we do the tassel ceremony, I'd like to make an announcement. In honor of our graduates, parents, we ask that you please remain seated for the remainder of the ceremony. You will meet your students outside the stadium in the concession area once we are done. The graduates will join you there when we are finished gathering their items in the student check-in area where they were dropped before the ceremony. Please do not attempt to enter the student seating section. Let's please give a big round of applause for Brittany Gonzalez, your senior class president, to lead the tassel ceremony. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Class of 2022, please stand for the tassel ceremony. <laughs> Make sure your tassel is on your right side, signifying our time in high school. Wait, let me check mine real quick. Now, move your tassel over to the left side, signifying the completion of our high school years as Indian Springs Coyotes! <laughs> Congratulations to the graduating class of 2022! Thank you, Brittany. Graduates, please be seated. Before we start our last performance, could we please have all senior choir and band members join their performance groups? Teachers in Ivy Chain, please form the lines you created at the beginning of graduation that students will be leaving through to say your last goodbyes and congratulations to the class of 2022. Graduates, remain seated. Students, staff, parents, and community members, here is our choir performing the Indian Springs High School alma mater. No choir, just me. <laughs> Nestled by the mountains and blue skies, glorious to view. 
We excel in every aspect, no one can argue. Indian Springs, we hail to thee, will be true to you. Pride, integrity, and loyalty, side by side we'll see it through. Coyotes stand together through thick and thin. Surrounded by friends, we'll always win. Indian Springs, we hail to thee, we'll be true to you. We hold your name in truth and light, to the end we'll fight. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, friends and family, for celebrating the class of 2022. The students will meet you all outside the stadium. Please do not come down to the seating area. Graduates will head back to the student staging area to retrieve their items and will meet family outside the stadium. Please begin escorting out the graduates of 2022! It's a seven. 